Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, whatever it is that you're doing this. Um, uh, so great, so today is Balancing Triangles. Um, today is day 22 of Balance, and this is Yoga with Kira. Um, yeah, just checking. My tech team has just said thumbs up, it's working. Um, so yeah, we're going to, we've gotten really into sun salutations at the beginning in this one. So great, we're gonna continue with that. And then we're gonna start moving into triangles. We did triangle sequences before, but now we're going to start balancing out of them. It's very yum. So come stand at the front of your mat. Come, come. So standing to the front of your mat and squeeze your bum, push your hips slightly forward. And just find your ground. And without going anywhere, just notice how you're balancing now. There is this movement. You are suspended in gravity already. Nice. And then soften your knees, drop your head, roll down through your spine. And rolling back up, all the way up. Reach your arms wide, bring your palms together. Squeeze your bum, push your hips slightly forward. Nice, coming down, all the way down, rolling forward, and then all the way back, all the way up, reaching up and looking up. Nice, when you're up here, grab your bowl of water. So a bowl of water is where you, somebody hands you a bowl of water and then you have to bring it down, all the way down to the floor. So you bring the backs of your knuckles to the floor. It's a different angle into the spine and then scoop a bowl of water and rise and offer it all the way up as high as you can. Nice. Grab a bowl of water, mm, coming all the way down, watching it as you go, and then grab your bowl of water, and coming up, reaching up, and really like reach offer up as high as you can. Nice, and then coming down. So bring your right heel forward. So just your heel. Reach up, grab a bowl of water, and slowly coming down, bring your bowl of water down to your toes. Scoop a bowl of water from your toes, and then offer it up. Feel the balance. Nice, lower your hands, other leg. Bring your left heel forward, reach up, grab a bowl of water, and then slowly come down to bring the bowl of water to your left toes. Scoop a bowl of water, rise, and really feel like you're offering up as high as you can your bowl of water. Nice, release. <laughs> both hands, to, or both feet to the floor. So reach your arms wide, bring your palms together, and then bending your elbows, bending your knees, come down. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Hands really high on your shins, lift your chest and arch your back, look forward. And so you're really high, so you're asking your spine to engage. Nice, hands to the floor, step your right foot back. So as always, stay here in your lunge or rise, reaching up towards the ceiling. So settle in and just feel the length through your fingers. Deepen a little bit into the front of that right hip. Breathe into your belly. Nice. Palms together. Bend your elbows. Bring your right forearm down to your left knee or bring your elbow to the outside of your knee and twist. Again, lean into that right hip. Bend your front knee a little bit more. Nice. Both hands to the floor. Step back. Both knees to the floor, lower down. Fingers are wide on the floor. Tuck your chin in. Rise. Squeeze your bum, lift your toes. Nice, lowering down. Hands closer, push back into your cat. All the way back into your downward dog. And just create a bit of a wiggle here, some connection. Nice. And then drop your knees to the floor, step your right foot forward. So the next sequence, you can either do it with your knee on the floor or you can lift your back knee off the floor. Knee on the floor is the easier version. 
So rising up, reaching up towards the ceiling. Nice. Bring both hands down to your knee. And then if your, if your back leg is long, turn your back foot so it's at a 45 degree angle. So my foot is now flat to the floor. Rising up again. And then windmill your arms wide so your right arm is forward and your left arm is back. You're looking down your right arm. Turn your right palm and reach it up towards the ceiling. Really long through the right side of your body and I'm gliding my fingers down towards my left knee. Nice. Right forearm down to your right thigh. Reach your left arm over your ear. Turn towards the floor, left hand down. Turn your back toes, step forward. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Slowly rolling up. Reach your arms wide, palms come together. Palms come to rest in front of your chest. Pause. Nice, other side. So reach your arms wide, bring your palms together, reaching up, looking up. Squeeze your bum, push your hips forward. Nice. Hmm. Rolling all the way down, hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Hands really high on your shins, lift your chest and look forward. Hands to the floor, step your left foot back. Toes stay standing on the floor for the crescent lunge. Rising up, reach up towards the ceiling. Again, stay in your lunge if you don't want to rise. Settle in wherever you are, lengthening that back leg. Nice, palms together. Elbows bend, bring your forearm across or bring your elbow to the outside of your knee, twist. And breathing into your belly. Nice, both hands to the floor, step back into your plank. Knees to the floor, all the way down. Bring your fingers wide, squeeze through your bum, lift through your toes, rise. Lowering down, push back into your cat. Push back into your downward dog and have a bit of a wiggle. Like how do you connect or deepen? Nice, drop your knees to the floor. Step your left foot forward. Lengthen your back leg. So drop your left knee to the floor if you want to keep your knee on the floor or rise up and reach up towards the ceiling. Bring your hands down to your front thigh. Turn your back foot so it's at a 45 degree angle. It's flat to the floor. Rise again up through your arms and windmill your arms out. So your left hand is forward and your right hand is back. Bend your front knee more and reach into the right hand more than the left. So I'm not surfing forward, I'm pulling backwards. Nice, left palm rises and reach up, look up. Feel the balance, feel your breath, connect. Nice, left forearm down to your thigh, reach your right arm over your ear. So wherever you are, adapt and create this movement for you. You might be sitting in a chair during this part of the movement. Awesome, doesn't matter, find your way. Drop your right hand to the floor, step your right foot forward. Hands to your shins, rise, look forward. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Slowly rolling up, reach your arms wide, palms come together. Palms come to rest in front of your chest. So, um, Right, we'll start with stepping the right foot back. So you're standing on your mat, step your right foot back and they're directly in line with each other. So they're on the same tightrope as each other. My back foot's turned at a 45 degree angle. There's maybe two and a half feet between my legs, between my feet. And then reach your right hand up toward the ceiling and feel that that's, that's the anchor of the pose and slowly slide your left hand down your left leg and go sideways until your hand rests somewhere down onto your left shin. Breathe into your belly as you reach upwards. Your hand can be above your knee, it can be below your knee, preferably not on your knee, okay? So fold, bend both elbows and bring your left forearm to your left thigh. 
Nice. And then fall and bring your right hand down to the floor. Bring your back toes up onto the toes and then lift your back foot off the floor. So my left forearm is resting on my left thigh. My right hand is on the floor. Stay here. This is loads. Or reach your left hand back behind you. Or reach your right hand back behind you. Or rise your chest and look forward. So I'm really lengthening. Back leg is strong and I'm looking forward as I reach my fingers back. Whichever version of this you're doing is awesome. Okay. Bring your left elbow to your shin, no, to your thigh, right hand to the floor, step your right foot forward, roll up, reach your arms wide, squeeze your bum, push your hips forward, palms come to rest in front of your chest. Nice, other side. Step the left foot back. So again, I'm stepping back, it's on a tightrope, so my left foot is in line with my right foot. Reach the left hand up toward the ceiling and then slide sideways down your right leg until you land on the shin. So if you go too far, you'll start to round forward. So it's more important that you stay in the side of your body than you go down lower to the floor. Keep reaching up, breathing into the side of your body. So to do that, push down into the baby toe side of the left foot and breathe and fill into the left hip, left belly. Nice, fold, bend both elbows. Bend your front knee, rest your forearm on your thigh. Fallen, bring your hand down, let it touch the floor. Nice, come up onto the back toes, lift your back toes off the floor. Stay here or reach the right hand back. Stay here, reach the left hand back. Stay here, lift through the chest and look forward. Whichever way you're doing this, awesome. Super cool. Forearm down, hand down. Step your foot forward, rolling up. Reach your arms wide, palms come together. Hands come to rest to the front of your chest. Nice. So the next version of this, you're going to use the wall. So come stand near the wall or a piece of furniture, something that you can lean back on a little bit. So step your right foot so my right toes are pointing long along the wall. There's maybe three or four inches between my foot and the wall. So I have a little bit of bum space. <laughs> and then back foot set at 45 degree angle. So we're going to do triangle again. <clears throat> we're going to alter it. So reach the left hand up and then slide down and really feel like as you do so that you can bring your hmm, shoulders to the wall. You can bring the back of that left hip to the wall. You're breathing and filling into your fingers. Nice. From here, bring your left hand to your hip, bring your right elbow to your right thigh. Nice. And then lean forward and lift your back foot off the floor. Okay. So I'm, I'm really balancing. My right bum is sticking into that piece of furniture or the wall behind me. Stay here or bring your hand to the floor. Stay here, reach the left hand up and then lengthen everything. So see, you know, maybe just your back toes off the floor and you're trying to get your shoulders to the floor behind you. Maybe you're really lengthening and lifting that left foot off the floor. Just connecting in, finding how do you open your body like a star? Nice. Slowly lowering down, foot to the floor, elbow to your knee, rising up. Other side. So turn your left toe so they're pointing long along the wall. Turn your back foot so it's pointed at a 45 degree angle. I have bum space, so there's maybe three or four inches between my outside of my feet and the wall behind me. And reach your right hand up towards the ceiling and then slide sideways. Bring your hand down to rest on your shin. Pause there. Nice, bend your front knee, bring your elbow to your knee and then actually bring your hand to your hip as well. And you can look at the floor, it's more stabilizing, or you can keep looking forward, okay? And then lift your back toes off the floor, but use the wall behind you to open, to bring that right hip back towards the wall, because that's usually the problem is that our toes are pointing down and our hip is rolling forward. 
So really open and lengthen, pull that hip backwards. Stay here, bring your hand to the floor. Stay here, stretch through your legs. And just expand in every direction. Toes are pointing in the same direction as your face. So they're pointing, is that right? That's right. <laughs> Reach long, expand. Nice, slowly lowering down, hand to your hip, drop your foot, forearm to your thigh, <laughs> rising up. Nice, come sit on the floor, all the way down. <clears throat> Soles of your feet together and have two feet between your heels and your pubic bone. So we were doing this yesterday. I loved it so much, we're gonna do it again. So spiral your right thigh in and bring your right knee out to the side. And so the further back your right knee goes, the harder this movement is. So if my right knee is like way back, it's gonna be really hard for me to lift my knee. If my right knee is almost at my left foot, then it's gonna be very easy to lift my knee. So see what you need to do. So start with both hands either side of the left thigh and then lift your right knee up. If you find it's impossible for you to lift your knee up, then bring your knee closer to the left foot. Drop your knee down. And then like we did yesterday, lift the right foot off the floor. So lift your knee up, foot goes flat. Push your hands firmly down, lift your foot up. So by pushing your hands down, it's your leg that has to move. Whereas if your hands are in the air, it's your torso that starts to move. Again. So we're gonna try it with our hands in the air. So interlock your fingers and then lift your right knee up and then lift your left right foot up one more time right knee up <laughs> and right foot up great soles your feet together other side so spiral that left thigh out foot out and bring your knee to the floor hands either side flat on the floor either side of that right thigh or up on your fingertips as you wish lift your knee lower it down Lift your foot, lift your knee. Like I was saying yesterday, it's really interesting finding the ranges that are really hard for our bodies. It's just fascinating, I love it. Lift your knee, lift your foot. My foot doesn't lift much on this side. Lift your knee, one more time. Lift your foot, interlock your fingers. Lift your knee and lift your foot. Lift your knee, last one, lift your foot. Nice, bring both feet together, both knees together and bring your feet close enough towards you so that you're, you're kind of, you feel slightly like your thighs are pushing you backwards. And then drop both knees down towards the right side and bring your right hand to the floor. And then take your left hand and scoop it between your two ankles and hold on to your right ankle. Come up onto your fingertips, stay here or tuck your elbow in, stay here, reach your arm up, maybe look down towards your feet. So we're lengthening really deeply through the side of our body again. So very similar to triangle pose, what we're doing through the side of the body. Breathe into that right side as you lengthen. Nice, bend your right elbow. Bring your fingertips to the floor, rest your palm flat, bring your knees back up, other side. So drop your two knees down towards the left and then reach your, your right hand between the two and grab that left ankle really tight. It's really, really tight what you do. And then bend your right elbow and pull yourself forward. So it's the right hand that supports you. You can come up onto the fingers of the left hand, tuck your left elbow in, maybe, maybe reach the left hand up and look down towards your feet. And I'm kind of leaning into the stretch. So I'm allowing my ribs to expand, a sense of length through the left side. I'm really lengthening into it. Nice. Super cool, bend your elbow, drop your hand, come back to center, stretch your legs out long. And just as you roll through your belly in a big circle, just think of the things that you're grateful for today. I sound and roll in the other direction. 
Nice hands to your heart. Stay with your head center, turn your eyes towards the right. Deepen your breath into the right side of your body, a yawn or a sigh. Wiggle your eyebrows, wiggle your toes. Nice, turn your eyes towards the left. Let your breath deepen into the left side of your body. A yawn, a sigh, a deeper breath. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your eyebrows. I'm especially focused on the left eyebrow and the left toes. Hmm, nice. Great, guys. How glorious. So I'll see you all again tomorrow. Another glorious day. It's supposed to rain here today. There was thunderstorms all night. Um, uh, I think between the full moon and the thunderstorms, it was just such a, just an amazing night. It was very, felt really powerful. Um, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, yeah, loving balance. What a cool and funky thing we're doing here. Um, so yeah, um, if any of you are trying to call me, do it on Messenger or send me an email. Uh, my phone is gone off into the ether. <laughs> um, so yeah, message me in one of the other ways rather than phone stuff. And um, yeah, I'll see you all soon. Um, thanks for joining me today. And uh, nice, how lovely. And thanks to Sinead as always. Mm, nice, okay, ciao, ciao, lovely.